autopsy time. <coughs> I got the loader off. I don't think I'm going to put this on anything. We'll start at the front. I parked it here in the trees, so it's out of the way, but it doesn't make it convenient for a video, so sorry about that. Bucket, really good shape. This bucket will hold water. Uh, seems pretty straight. Doesn't seem to flex when you set it on stuff. So, that's good. Okay, first thing. <clears throat> this here bracket that goes on the front. Okay, I'm looking straight down on the top one. And this is way bent down. So, bit of a hard life there. This one I think only had one bolt in it and no center pin, if I remember right. And that bolt hole is even cracked. And this has been fixed. This one, both none of these bolts were tight. This one is cracked, same place. And this obviously wasn't the right mount for a an Oliver large frame. Okay, so next thing. Yeah. Okay, Wyatt. So that is all boogered up. Cracked up here, cracked down there, welds are cracked. Crack, crack, everywhere crack. And then this is cracked real bad down here, and I showed that. <clears throat> okay, these hoses are shot. And then I noticed oil was squirting out of here somewhere so this cylinder must be broke back here somewhere okay this has already been fixed right here and then re-supported from here to here which I think is good <clears throat> and as you can see that was broke pretty much clean off which is what this one's trying to do you can see she's got a little wah in it Crack down here. It's cracked up here. Back up, get away from the loader, guys. No fixes on this one yet. But I tried yanking on her to straighten her out. Didn't really want to straighten out very much. So, I don't think this is fit for reuse so I don't know that I'm gonna put this back on anything you can see a big crack over there too and down there they're just all over <clears throat> okay moving on to the tractor now So she looks a lot better with the loader off, but uh, you can see no one ever took this screen out. You can't see any, hardly any spots in that at all. You know, you get cylinders that leak, they'll do that. Oh yeah, and also, this was one of the bolts holding the loader on. I don't know how that's ever going to hold anything tight. Okay, hey, remember how I said that uh, most or a lot of 1855s usually throw a rod? Well, this is an engine out of a 1955 because this 1855 threw a rod. And look what I found down here. Oh, looks like this guy threw a rod once too. So now that I've got it cleaned off a little bit, I see this hose is leaking. <clears throat> I have various random leaks back here. You can see this has been brazed, which that's all right, but that might be the source of a leak. Uh, 
I don't know when the last time this had a cap on it was, but I need to get that further cleaned out and get a cap for it. And these leak. One of these does. I think this one leaks. Pretty bad. And then it appears to be leaking from right there in between in between the top hydraulic housing and the rear end main case so a lot of work left to do on this these have been broken which that's super common my 17 was broke and my 1800 was broke it's pretty rare to find them that aren't broken they never did build this strong enough they could take the weight, but I mean, they could pull the weight, but uh, they just couldn't really take the weight on the drawbar. It just wasn't built good enough. So, there you go. Loader's off. Now I'm gonna do some more portion on her. But it's looking better already. Get that hunk of junk off there. Thanks for watching. Question for everybody out there. How often do you guys scrape the grease off your screens? Wow, the... Hey mom, look, I'm trying. Do you even cool, bro?